Stayallday.com This drill mixtape series that you are about to observe is a series of drills that I did, workouts that I did. If you haven't seen any of the other ones, it's basically where I take a bunch of drills that I did in one workout and put them all together in one. So you can see a sequence kind of, kind of how some moves fit together. Of course, I'm going to show you each move from the left side and also from the right side. Anything you can do going left or with your left, you should be able to do going right or with your right except actually shooting jump shots, everything except that dribbling, passing, finishing. So what I'm doing in this particular one that you're watching, you can check out the playlist. I have a playlist called Full Workouts, and you can see all the full workouts I have put out there, both on the court and off the court. So you can see all the drill series mixtapes here, because this one, obviously, you can see there have been some before that's based on the number. So this one here, I'm doing a lot of work off the high post elbow area, 15 foot range. And also working off of the wings, as you can see here, where I'm showing you everything in, in full, at sped up motion here, fast motion, or whatever we call this. But anyway, I'm going to be working off the elbows out of triple threat, off the elbows, off the catch, and off the wings, off the triple threat, attacking the baseline, also attacking the middle of one or two dribbles for both jump shots and for finishes at the rim. So you can get a good look at all the stuff that I do kind of in sequence here. Now each drill that you see here will either come out individually or has already come out individually. If you go to my channel and you go to the playlists, I have playlists which basically segment every different area of the game. Where it comes to ball handling, shooting, driving, creating crossover moves, post moves, using the behind the back dribble, using crossover dribbles, using jump stops, using jab steps, using one hand under moves fast break moves, left hand, every single thing is segmented and if it's not segmented yet it will be. Understand I got over 3,000 videos here so I will be segmenting more and more and as more videos come out more had to get put into different playlists so it's coming if it's not already out. If you're looking for any workouts of your own to do on your own check out hoophandbook.com. I've covered every single area of the game both on the court and off the court and the mental game is all covered on my channel all covered at hoophandbook.com any questions you have, you can leave them in the comments. Of course, you know how to get in touch with me. You can do that via my website. You can leave comments on the channel if it's just an off hand thing. If you got something more serious to say or ask, you can contact me via email. Dre at DreAllDay.com. Enjoy the mixtape. Work on your game. Dre all day. On this move, I'm going with a quick through the legs, a couple attack slash rhythm dribbles to get into my spin move, get low, spin, and pull up for the jump shot. And you see that I have both feet off the floor just for a split second there as I turn on that spin. I land with both feet close to square to the basket. I pivot a little bit more on my left toe when I land the ball on my foot. And then I get up and finish over the top of the jump shot. This will be coming in from the left wing. A couple rhythm dribbles spinning over my left shoulder and shooting the jump shot as I spin over towards the left side of the floor on the baseline. You can go with a bank shot here or you can go straight in. It's tough to go straight in because you're leaning. Your momentum is taking you in one direction and you still want to try to get it straight in. It's a tough shot. You're going to get a lot of misses on this. Or you can go for the bank, which is also tough because that momentum adds a lot of power behind that shot. You got to take a lot off it to make sure you don't go too hard off the glass. On this play, I'm just coming straight up off a catch, face up on that defender, keep that jabbing foot out in front of me to create my space. Jab out right into that defender to get enough room or just to keep him at bay, and then I rise straight up for the jump shot. Gotta knock those down. So I jab and take a quick little step back as I jab off that back pivot foot, the left foot, 
and then I'm shooting a jump shot. Doing the same move here now, going in the other direction. So I'm jabbing with the left foot. Take a quick little jab, step back move, and rise straight up for the shot. This is really a quickness move where you're surprising the defense. You hit them with a surprise little jab, step, a quick step back, and you go straight up and knock down your shot. You know, simulating catching the ball in the middle of the lane near the high post area, a quick shot fake, two escape dribbles towards the baseline, rising up and hitting a bank shot. So you see I'm catch coming off my catch after the catch. I'm gonna give a shot fake here. So catch, shot fake, get lower, couple escape dribbles off the bounce, get it to the bank shot on the wing. Doing the same move going the other way now. I'm shot faking in the middle, driving to my right, two bank shots, two rhythm dribbles, then a bank shot when I'm leaning towards the baseline off the glass. Here's a good high post post move. Any player can use this. I square up, gather myself, and then I'm gonna make a quick turn, one dribble away from that elbow area, and shoot my jump shot off of one dribble here. So I catch. One quick turn, watch my left foot, you see how I'm pivoting off that left foot, keeping it down until the ball leaves my hand, so this is a legal move. And hit that one dribble, step away, and finish with the jump shot. You gotta make these shots. Now in this move, I'm gonna turn over my right shoulder. So I square up, I'm looking in the opposite direction from where I'm gonna go. So I'm gonna look one way. Maybe get the defense leaning just a little bit with that eye fake, head fake, slash head fake. And then I'm going to go in the opposite direction. You see, I look over my left shoulder, but I'm going over my right shoulder. One dribble and shoot. In this play, I'm using a quick combo move. You're going to see me go back through the dribble, back through my legs, through the legs, and then a quick two step crossover and go in for a quick slam dunk. A little combo move. Just something being creative. I like to work on creative stuff. Just make up something. Be creative while you're working out. Never know what you're facing again. This play here. It's a quick crossover, then a big cross. Drive in, one rhythm dribble, and then we're going to raise up high for a floater. So we watch that one more time. We'll come with a short little quick crossover, what I call a setup cross, which is there. And a big cross, one rhythm dribble, big jump stop to finish over the top of the floater. Doing the same move on this side now, I'm going with a right to left crossover. One dribble, jump stop, and finishing with the left hand. I'm a right handed player, so left hand is a move you got to work on. Within eight feet of the basket, you should be able to take shots with both hands. You probably will be more accurate with your dominant hand, I think, overall. But the more you practice with the non dominant hand that we can, for a right handed player to left hand, the better you'll get at it. And even if you miss some, if you're willing to shoot it, opens up a whole new world of possibilities for you when you're around the basket area trying to score. Here I'm using my first step move on the wing, the United States, the American first step move. We can do it like this. 
I know our pivot foot pivot foot's moving a little bit before that ball leaves my hand, but in the United States we do this move and it's perfectly legal. I know in any other country they usually would call this a travel, but this is what we do here. Quick first step move, drive that baseline off one dribble and finish. Try to get from the three point line to the basket with one bounce. That's important. In this play I'm gonna go with the first step again off the wing. Make a quick first step move to get by my defender and as I approach that baseline, I'm running out of space there. Go into a spin move and I'm going to finish with a reverse on the other side of the rim. I'm going to finish my shot. So as I drive towards that baseline, the defender probably thinks he has, me, he has me cut off there. I'm going to go with the spin move there which opens up the move again for me. Gets me to the middle of the lane and from there, I'm going to finish on the other side of the rim to avoid any shot block. In this play here, catching the ball on the wing, I'm going to use my dribble off the jab step. So I'm going to dribble my first bounce, I'm still on the jab step there. Cross over back in front of me, and then raise up and hit the jump shot. So watch how I do that move again. I'm facing that defender. I'm going to dribble the ball under my leg as my first dribble. I'm still on my pivot foot, then cross in front of me and rise up, knocking down that jump shot. Using the crossover step move now. I'm going to use my right foot. Since I'm pivoting on my left, I'm going to use my right foot into the crossover step. Watch how that ball leaves my hand before my pivot foot leaves the floor. One dribble and then raise up, hit a floater. This can go all net or you can go off glass like I did there with the soft touch. The footwork is the key. So watch my footwork here. As so I use that right foot as a crossover step. Boom, one dribble, raise up and finish. Play. I'm facing up that defender there on the wing, using my right foot to attack there. I'm taking two dribbles hard to the baseline, but instead of spinning, I'm just going to jump right to the other side of the rim. Use the rim as a shield for a defender and finish on the other side with a layup. Of course, you can do this with the left hand or the right hand. You'll see it as I go through the reps of the drill. Here again, I'm using my dribble while I'm still using my jab step there. So you see I'm jabbing with the right foot, I go into a quick pound dribble and then behind the back. Forward defense really has a chance to react to this move for the most part. Most of the time when I use this, D isn't really ready to react because I use my dribble while I'm still using the jab there. Dribble, quick behind the back. It shouldn't be no problem getting that shot off. The key is having the quickness with your hands to get it to where you need to get it into your shot pocket that is a comfortable shot. And then on top of that, of course, you got to make it. So in this move, I'm going to go after my, into my first step. And as I go into that first step, I slow down a bit. Let the defense catch up. Fake as if I'm spinning back towards the middle. But I'm actually shooting a fadeaway jump shot here on the baseline. Got to get this angled around the side of that backboard. Miss it just by a little bit, you're going to hit the side of the backboard. This is a very tough shot. Here, fake it there in this shot. Most defenders will probably even let you take that because it's such a tough angle. If you're ever able to make it, you look at a guy like Kobe, Dwayne Wade often, Michael Jordan. Those guys are able to hit these high degree of difficulty shots. I'm not saying this is something you can plan out, but if it's part of your game, you're able to hit this shot, 
more power to you, more options you got. And this play uses some footwork and misdirection, so I'm gonna jab into the crossover step, take one quick dribble, get low, so that I can go right into a spin move and raise up for a jump shot going back towards the other direction. So watch as I do this first crossover step. See how I stay low so that I can pivot right back in the other direction. See how I stay low there, especially on that left foot. That knee is bent even 90 degrees, so I can go right back into a spin move. this play I'm using the same principle as I do that jab step I'm going to pivot into a spin without the dribble one dribble there on the pivot one more dribble as I attack the basket and finish at the basket so I, this is a pivot spin move so I'm going to do the crossover step but I'm going to pivot right into a spin notice that my left foot I stay on the balls of my left foot that foot does not come off the ground until the ball leaves my hand so this is a legal move anywhere you want to use it anywhere in the world pivot and spin This play is the most basic. After you've used all those jab, step, crossover, step, pivot, spin moves, you got that defender not knowing what's going to come next. Now you keep it simple. Raise up on him while he's guessing about what move you're going to do and hit the jump shot right in his face. You just got to be able to make this shot off the catch, off the jab step. So there's no live dribble here. And it's not really a catch and shoot because you're using a lot of footwork here. You're not just squared up ready for the shot. You're faking your move. Then you raise, right, raise up for the shot because you had a defender trying to predict what you're going to do next. But all you're really going to do is just shoot a jump shot right on. For this move, it's important that you get the defense leaning the way that you want to get them to lean if you're going to expose the ball the way I ended up end up exposing it. See, I'm exposing that ball to my left hip, but if your jab step right is potent enough, you use it enough to the point that the defense is worried about stopping it, then you can throw it around to the other side cleanly and get this move off. But you got to have a tough jab step here. You got to have a jab step the defense is worried about stopping. So you see as I come in here, they got to be worried about stopping me going to my right in order for me to get a clean jab and throwing that ball around my back to the left. When this play, I'm jabbing with the first step. Now I'm jabbing the other direction. I'm going with my left foot now, which is not as natural for a right-handed player. I'm taking first step, one dribble, and get to the rim. Remember, from the three-point line, I want to be able to get one dribble to your shot if you're driving to the basket. More dribbles than that, people are going to start closing your space. The more athletic people you play against, the longer, the taller, the stronger. So this play here, I'm going to attack the baseline. And start to attack the baseline. Defense cuts me off. I'm going to spin, but still finish on the other side of the rim, using that rim as a shield for my defender, especially the guy on my back, and finish with the layup. This play, I'm using my jab step as a threat. I'm dribbling off the jab step through the leg, crossover in front of my body. So everything's leaning towards that baseline. You want to get that defender leaning just a little bit that way. Once you do that crossover, you're going right into your shooting form so you can get your shot off quickly. Boom. Once you go into that left to right crossover, after the ball comes through your legs, you're setting up your jump shot right there. Every movement is moving towards getting that shot. This is a tough shot here, especially for a right-handed player. You're going to jab that way, attack in the other direction. So you're going to jab towards the baseline with the left foot. Then you're going to come with a crossover step, finish with the left hand over the top. This is not a orthodox shot for me. You see how I took my hand off that ball early, but I just wanted to work on getting that shot the same way I did it the other way. Maybe not, maybe might not use that, but got to be ready for it. Here I'm going with first step there, 
faking that spin move, see how you can put a little hop into that fake spin. The more you practice it, you'll get it. You watch a guy like Jordan, he was really good at putting a hop into his fake spin. Gain him a little bit of extra space in the move. See that little hop there off both feet? Then finish with that shot around the backboard on the baseline. This is a tough angle shot, but it looks pretty and it feels really good when you make it. In this play, I'm using my jab step as an attack. Quick pound dribble while I'm still on my jab. Quickly behind the back. and got to be able to raise up quickly into my jump shot. Because once the defense starts to react, that space will close quickly. So you got to be able to get that shot from your hands up into your... Once the ball comes into your hand from that behind the back dribble, into your shooting form, wherever it may be, quickly. I'm attacking to my left here. Now what I'm going to do is attack the baseline. I'm going to use a jump stop to go from one side of the rim to the other side of the rim. And then I'm going to finish using the rim as a shield. Finish around the rim. Over the top. Now I'm going to use a jab dribble as I go into the crossover step. Watch how my right foot, my right knee stay low so I can go into a quick spin move. The lower I get, the easier and quicker the move will be because it's a lower center of gravity. Close, close, lower to the ground where my feet are. The closer my rest of my body is to my feet, the easier it'll be to spin. Boom, hit that spin move, throw that ball out towards the baseline. See when I do that spin, how I kind of throw the ball out away towards the baseline, forcing my body to catch up to the ball instead of the other way around, which could be the turnovers, and slow moves, and losing the ball. Here I'm going to jab away, crossover step, pivot spin move, one dribble, two dribbles, attack the rim, and finish. Watch again the pivot spin move. I'm going to pivot, jab with the left foot as if I'm going to the crossover step, but I'm just spinning. Watch how my right foot stays down until that ball leaves my hand, and I got the ball shielding, the ball shielded by my body from the defender. After we show the defender, show the defense all those jab fake moves, got him guessing as to what you're going to do next, all you got to do is raise up and knock down a shot right on top of her while she's worrying about what you're going to do next. Jab, finish it right over the top. Got to be able to make that shot. No dribbles off the jab step. We call it a stare down jump shot. After all these moves, attacking with that left foot towards the baseline, should have that defender leaning just a little bit when you jab that way. Then you can throw it around the other direction, get to the middle of the lane, and finish over the top, whatever shot you need. A floater, a jump shot, you get in for a layup, whatever you want to do. So get that jab, lean, throw that ball around right off the right hip, and finish in the middle of the lane. Groovysweat.com, work on your fucking game.